Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show the performance evaluation of my solution using eBPF and XDP for UPF user plane function in 5G networks. As you can see here in the right side, there are two servers, one server which is responsible for generate the traffic and the other server is the DUTCH. DUTCH is, means device under test. So this, this server, a wrapper with a, a HTTP server, the idea of this HTTP server is to receive request and send it to the UPF ABPF XDP library. So after that, there will be some context created in the data plan. With this context, this, con this context is called PFCP context and there are some rules inside of this context like PDRs, package detection rules, and FARs, forward action rules. During this presentation, I'm going to show how to deploy this environment, as well how we can collect metrics like throughput and CPU usage, usage during this test. So let's start with run the T-Rex traffic generator server and the run HTTP API with UPF eBPF XDP. First, here I have one comment that deploy everything. When I run this command, the SSH tunnel is created. This tunnel is used to communicate with the server in the network labor laboratory. There are another window here that deploy the T-Rex server. And this window is the test bed environment. On the left side, we have the T-Rex client and the right side, we have uh, some, some panes that are logged in in the DUT server. So as you can see here, it is running the HTTP server. Now I'm going to show how to create a PFCP session configuration. So I have, the, I have been using this client the postman, the postman, there are some configuration predefined here. So as you can see on the left side, there are three requests that I use to send to the HTTP server. In this first request, I have a configuration request. The idea is to pass the UDP and GTP interface. This interface will be used in the UPF eBPF program in order to attach the program in the correct interface. The other section is the, the other request is the the request is used for 
uh, session creation. As you can see here, the session, uh, there, are, there are some attributes and elements that will, will be sent to the UPF library in order to create the PFCP context. I would like to highlight this is the first version of the performance environment. Okay, so now I'm going to send the HTTP request using Postman. After you have predefined the, the test, I only click and run, select the re HTTP request, and run it. Note that everything, every request returns 200. As you can see here, the the server has already received the request and now we can generate the T-Rex traffic using the generator to do it. So when I start the traffic, it will go to the Dutch and after pass through the pipeline, the packets will be forward to the destination interface. And after that, it, the T-Rex traffic generator will receive them. So, now I'm going to start the traffic generator i would like to highlight that the the traffic it's uh not based in a uh, in any predefined traffic profile i only create uh, a lot of flows that vary the source ip address to one one two 254. As you can see here as well, the throughput that I am using in the transmission is 14 megapacks per second in port zero. Another thing that I would like to show is the number of receive queue that are configured in the Dutch server. As you can see here, there are 12 RX queue configured in the server. So I'm going to start the traffic generate, generator. I, I'm going to start the a terminal user interface to check the 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 metrics and I'm going to put put the sorry I forgot to one comment to put the interface in in promiscuous mode let's come back to the metrics so as you can see here, we have uh, 10 megapacks per second receiving in interface one and um, 14 megapacks per second transmitting in the interface zero. Okay. Interface one receiving interface zero here. And as you can see here, the max throughput that I am receiving is 10.4 megapacks per second. 
the size of the packet is 64k. Uh, another thing I, I would like to highlight is that there are some cores that are not fully busy. So uh, the next steps of our of my research is to verify how can I balance the traffic between the CPU. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and I, I'm going to execute another test. This test case is related with one RX queue in the DUT server. So I'm going to configure this, this queue. Now I have only one RX queue. Let's check. Only one. So I'm going to start again the traffic. And as you can see here, we are transmitting with 14 megapacks per second, and we are receiving at 2.9 megapacks per second. And note that only one CPU is really busy. It's, it's a, a good scenario for much access edge computing. As we saw this scenario, we have a hardware restriction and with one core, we can use um, two point, we, we can have 2.9 megapacks per second. So that's it. The other thing that I am planning to do is to collect the metrics, these metrics that I have shown and create a, a graphics in order to understand better and to make it easy to run this test and to analyze the result. Another thing that I, I have mentioned and I would like to highlight again is that the is that is that about the the traffic? So now I create the tra traffic randomly. And next step in the future, I'm going to focus in the traffic and with the variation, I'm going to check what it will change in the metrics. And that's it. Thank you.